This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so we're talking about, this is funny, Gucci Man and Kodak Black go back and forth calling each other clones <laughs> because people, Gucci Man kind of looked a little different when he came. I mean, a lot different. Kodak Black looked a little off, but, you know, these guys did, I mean, Kodak Black did a year, a harsh year. And Gucci Man did three years, and Gucci Man got his body right and everything. And they do look a little different, but, I mean, obviously Kodak Black's the same, and Gucci's the same. It's just, maybe Gucci was back on his, you know, no, no disrespect, but, you know, he does take medication. Uh, he said he's taking medication for, like, certain different things. Because, you know, like, Gu Gucci Man had a lot of things going on before, you know? But uh, I'm glad to see he got his life together and Kodak Black got his life together. But this was funny. Check out this right below. The so I should sniper in here, huh? Man, you talking about if so people in sniper. Miami come through this is you a, County. Man, I'm talking about is you a clone or not, huh? Because that's what I heard. That's what I heard. Hey, huh? Let me pitch you and see you for real, huh? Nigga Nigga say you a clone, This huh? nigga crazy. We got <laughs> Kodak, I you, need you to pipe it one time, man. You know, you know they got the little software. You, you, me. Yeah. You got all my clothes. I you got look like me, all uh -huh. kind of shit. Like you. Yeah. Cause you Isaac. No, cause you look like me in the face. <laughs> 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 oh, that's the truth. Yeah, man, yeah, the four nine on my boy, man. Goo bitch. Why you got all my clothes though? Man, you know I stay Gucci down, man. man all my shit before me. I ain't gonna lie, man. You know, I keep this shit on, man. I see you got on that ten thousand more on though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you looking bro. like it? You looking like it? You looking like it? Bro, bro, bro. Don't say my hand no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, this your time. Yeah, bro. Hey, yo, uh, hey, you, hey, hey, you, nigga, uh, Gucci man, Roger Davis, Roger Davis, Wits up, goo up, all that, right? I'm glad my comeback game wasn't too much on tonight, nigga. When you said, when you said, Oh, is you a clone or not? You know what I should have hit you with? I might be. <laughs> That's why I should have told you a little ugly. Like, you know what I'm saying? That smooth ass cut with no waves on that motherfucker. All that motherfucker. Um, pomegranate, whatever they call it. All that grease on that motherfucker. Got no waves on there. Hey, yo, Keisha. You need to make some um, product. You need to make some... um. Way product for that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Smooth as hell cut. Not a damn ruffle the, up there. Yeah, that was funny, man. And then we got uh, Bobby Schmurda negotiates a watch down uh, to uh, 45000 The guy was trying to charge 65000 And then he ended up getting the watch for uh, <laughs> 45000 the funny thing is with these jewelers is that they, they have a huge markup on that watch. The guy still made money. That's the only reason he said yes. He's probably still made a good ten twenty thousand dollars off that watch. Uh this was wait, wait, right here. This was him doing the whole thing, right? He was doing the back and forth. And you know, the guy was like, Alright, cool, we could do it. And then the jeweler looking at his homie when he left the room knowing the watch is worth 20000 <laughs> <laughs> Laughing with each other. Because <laughs> obviously, you know, these jewelers, they're the worst. I don't know why people go right when they get their money, they go to these jewelers. And they get, they always go to the guy that carries cases around with them. And like, they never go to like, uh, there's different kinds of jewelry stores you can go to. You can get different prices. You know, they go to these jewelers who are making like, you know, caricatures and everything. It's like, I, I don't know, man. It's not the best way to spend your money on jewelry because it goes down in value. I'm not dis now I know it's part of the whole thing, but, you know, he does have to get his rap package back together, you know, so he can make that hit, have the look. <laughs> the game uh, The game uh, tried to holler at Latoya Luckett During the uh, D'Angelo live uh, what, the Versus where I think it was supposed to be D'Angelo Or something else Someone else But uh, 
they didn't show up, so they did it differently. It was horrible, the verses. I mean, it was cool because Method Man and Red Man were there, but it was like just like a concert, and there was no promotion. It was weird. So Latoya Lucka is lusting after D'Angelo. She says, I want the oil. I'm suddenly slippery in here. The game goes, Latoya Lucka, I heard your single and your song on. Mmm. <laughs> it's like, yo, calm down, game. Now, the game's also being accused of something else that doesn't really make sense because I think Benny the Butcher's, Butcher was accused of this, too. Multiple rappers, they're, they're paying money to get on, like, a SoundCloud mixtape that he puts on his page, but he's putting on a different page. And uh, But uh, you know what? You get these... these these rappers aren't going to come into your DM and say, yo, pl I like what you're doing, and then ask you to give them money. Uh, you're probably getting tricked out of your money. And these rappers are trying to accuse game when it's probably someone pretending to be game. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt on that because that's what happened to Benny the Butcher, too. And I think this is just a, a, there's a lot of people getting over on people out here for various things. You got to be careful with your money. So anyways, that's that. Uh, make sure you go check out that hip hop on cover thing. That was good. Even though you used some of my footage in episode five, but you know, I'll talk, I'll, 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 I'll let it slide because it's big you. That's, that's the homie, but we talked about that yesterday, but it's really good. It's really good. They, they go off track a few times, but really, really done well. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you have a great day today. You decide if you have a great day. So, you know, just get out there and get out there and just do something. You know, you don't, you don't have to, like, make your life better today. You know, like, just take some control over your life. It's always a first step. You know, to, 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 to moving forward, man. Um, I always recommend exercise. I also recommend reading. Or just sitting down and watching the right things. Watch some documentaries or something that will shift your mind. You know, there's junk food for your mind, which I love to, to get into, too. Okay? And then there's things that will expand your mind. And there's different channels on YouTube for all this kind of stuff. Um, you know, learn about something. Type in something you don't know about and learn about it. That always feels good. And, you know, as far as getting your life together, it starts with just, like, feeling like you're taking control back. Clean your house. Uh, expand your mind. Or better your body. You know, it's it's hard to get out of those dark places sometimes. And sometimes it feels like we're fighting 10, 20 battles at one time. You know, last week I had to do so many little things. You know, you can't just chill and, <laughs> and make money or chill and do what you're supposed to do. There's always distractions around. There's always problems you got to deal with. It's just life. Sometimes it's like that. But just know you're not alone. We all go through it. I go through it. Um, it's exhausting. But have hope. Because if you tackle one thing at a time, you'll get through it, man. Um, I just want to give you guys a little bit of positivity for the day, you know? Just keep trying. Be consistent at what you're doing. Whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. You know? Don't stop. It's easy to give up. It's hard to keep going. I appreciate you guys, and I hope you guys have a great day today, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching me. And if you want to join the channel to... You know, it's like four ninety nine a month. And, you know, it gives you a special badge when you're in there. I know you're contributing. <clears throat> we do special. I'm going to start doing some exclusive content once in a while. and But everything else is going to be the same. You're not, you're not going to totally miss out on anything. I just appreciate the support. And thank you so much. Also, we have the Bandemic sweatshirts that just came out. Go, go to the store and get those. I'll check you guys later. It's Jordan Tower with JT News, and I appreciate you so much again.